That's a little dark. What's up with that? Oh, that's kind of dark. Yeah, it's probably because of the. It's probably better on that side. Well, let's, what if, I did, what if I cut out that window now? Can we turn the light on? We should probably turn the light on. Maybe you should open that window or pull oh, this, the well, foil that, out. Oh, that would help. Oh, that's yeah, that makes sense. Hey, y'all. Oh, hi. We're on. <laughs> I'm not sure who's out there yet, but. Anybody here? Sorry, I'm just trying to. Oh, hey, that's better. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now I'm blind. Now I can't see. Oh boy. Hello. Yikes. <laughs> I liked it better dark. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Jennifer Bruce? Hi, y'all. Omega Royal Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. First. So there's a couple people in here, you know, but I see Cynthia. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a question. I may have to ask this more than once based on how many people are in here, but and I'm going to sort of apologize. So I want to let everybody know that every week, every week when we schedule this, this, and we, we schedule them every week. Glad to hear you fix the pipe. Uh -oh. So wait, what's the matter? I can't see that. You can't see it? Barely. Does it do? do I mean, don't you I mean, normally blow yeah, it up I or do. something I just for do. me? I just, like, hang on. Pop out. Hang Pop on, out, guys. Chat. I'm getting the chat set up for Pam. She can't read it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, I've been watching the Canadian shows too much. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, about, let me about that. Try and, uh, let me let me just taking care hey, of some business here. I got an idea. Right, how's that? Is that Can better? you close the blind a little bit? Are you kidding me? That's not gonna work. Yeah, well. All right. I'm just all right. It's blinding. All right. Is that good? Okay. Okay. So okay, so back to it. Uh anyway. So I schedule these every week, right? I schedule them the day of. And so when I schedule a live, I believe that, well, I'm 99% I'm, I'm sure if you go to our actual channel, you'll see like upcoming video, upcoming live or whatever, right? Um, I also think that people that subscribe to us get like in their little recommended videos and stuff, they get our, our live out there. So you know the live is out there once I've scheduled it. I also- oh, Shirley. Hi, Mom. I also then do what's called a post on, on YouTube. And I make a post and I say, hey, we're doing the live tonight, blah, 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 right? Um, well, I do the same thing last week. So we didn't, we didn't have this last week. Well, obviously, I didn't schedule a video. So there was nothing for you to join. But you might have been wondering. There might be some out there that were wondering, hey, where's the live? What's going on? Uh, but I did put out a post that said, sorry, we're not doing a live. It was kind of a, a notification, right, that we weren't doing it. But I don't know if everybody's seeing them. And unfortunately, I don't know enough about YouTube to understand why. I don't know if it has to do with the notification bell or, or what, but... I think it's because some people are watching it on their TV and they, they don't get that. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but, but anyway, I just wanted to say, just so everyone knows, I do schedule these the day of every week. And we've only skipped two or three, I think, in, since we started you know, six months ago now. Um, I do schedule them the day of, and I do put out a post when I schedule them. So I saw the thing about no live last week. Okay, so you uh, saw the post that said yeah, no live. Yeah, I okay. saw it on my cell phone. But I haven't uh, known, ever since I started doing those posts, I haven't really known who's been seeing them. But I do know when we skip, like when we skipped last week, several people asked me what happened to the live. So live tonight then, no live. So I was surprised seeing the live. <laughs> What? Saw both messages live tonight. Then no, no live. live. So I was surprised seeing the live. <laughs> I'm not. sure. You just lost me. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> so I put out a post today that said we'll be live tonight at 6 p.m. Arizona time. And that's what I do every week. So anyway, I just wanted everybody. <laughs> I just okay. wanted everybody to know that I do put a post out there, and if you don't see it, I'm I'm sorry you don't see it. I'm not sure why. So that makes it hard to tell you when we're not going to have one, but right? Because so, that's him, the only way I know to do it. I do this on my channel. Like I'll do just a little short thingy and that way people see it. Um, we might start doing a, a, a short, a little, the, short the little shorts on YouTube that I think pop up like a regular video. Yeah. 
But uh, I, I guess maybe one thing I'll throw out there to, to all the subscribers, which I probably everybody that comes to this live is a, is a subscriber, is my guest. My yes. guest. My guest. Sorry. Be um, my guest. It might help. And I'm curious what the behavior will be if you click that, the like the notification bell or something. I'm not sure if that makes a difference. I Sadly, I don't really understand it fully. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. The inner workings of YouTube. I'm sorry for anybody who didn't know that we had skipped last week, but I do... I do my best to try and let everybody know when we're doing them or when we're not. And like I said, I think we've only skipped two or three in the last like six months. So generally we will be doing it, but anyway, so sorry about that. Have we, uh, <clears throat> and I hope it doesn't mean that there's people not here tonight because we didn't have last week. I noticed there, our, there might not be that many. Yeah. Oh, well, so. um, but I don't think we've been on here since I got back from vacation. Well, the last one would have been me alone. Right. Yeah. So, so it's been two weeks. That, so, so Pam was gone the last time I did one two weeks ago. She was on. She was on the chat. Oh, that's you right. were there. Yeah, I was in a motel. A she just motel wasn't sitting here next to in me in a bed. <laughs> <laughs> and it was. I had been at the beach. I guess all day. it would have been eight o'clock. You were only two hours, which was surprising. Pensacola. I guess yeah, it's not far enough east. It went by really fast. She was fast. only two hours ahead instead of and three hours. Apparently, I picked the best possible time. She missed because the best week. He to miss. was miserable the whole time. I it was, was hot. Gone. It was real hot. Oh, I forgot to. I'm supposed to tell Tim when we do a live. Tell Tim. My son is Tim, and even though I'm supposed we do them every to, I'm week his at the same reminder <laughs> of we are live. So. Um, I mean, we're a few minutes in, so we're, I mean, there might be a couple more people come in, but like I said, I'm, I hope well, it, in it and looks like, filtering. it looks like it, there's 11 people there. It looks like we're a little light on people, maybe because we skipped last week and they might be thinking we're not doing it anymore. So yeah, I, don't worry about if it. If anybody has, knows any more than I do, please share with me. I'm, yeah, I don't quite understand it doesn't, how to, it doesn't matter how to let people know. That's all. I got the notification. <laughs> Excellent. Anyway, so it's working. So what's uh, what's happened? What's happened in the last oh, two weeks? Now? Oh my god! What's happened in the last? A bunch has, sorry, He's yelling in my ear. A, a bunch has happened in the last two weeks. What's happened in the last two well, weeks? Well, when I came back, how was your trip? So I I was supposed to go like tubing one time, and the more the morning we were supposed to go tubing down the river. I woke up and when I got out of bed, I fell over with a bout of vertigo, which I don't know if any of you have had vertigo, but it sucks. So I didn't get to go, but then it ended up raining them out anyway, and they came back. They so, didn't go anyway. Um, so ever since then, ever since I came back, and I think it was from the airplane, I keep having dizzy spells. It, it's not as bad, and it's I've had this before, and it just takes a while. Anyway. Other than that, I, well, the heat aggravates it too. So, should I? Uh, what happened after I got I, back? Should I not have told you what I did while you were gone? What are you talking about? Well, the the window bucks. I mean, I, so no, it didn't matter. I built the bucks while she was gone, and I sent her pictures and told her. And several people said you shouldn't have told her you did it. You should have pretended like you hadn't done anything and just let her see it when she got home. Uh, <clears> well, I would have been. I would, you would have made my trip kind of. I would have been pissed. <laughs> Oops. Is that a bad word? I would have been angry, probably. Not angry, but disappointed. I would have been sad. But. He didn't want to make me you sad. You came home. He wanted to make me happy. To, was it, did you come home to four bucks or all eight bucks? Four bucks. Uh, was I, it half done it or was, was it all done? I all can't even done. remember. It was all done. Ow. Uh-oh. My ears are sensitive. That's, I, I have problems with my ears. So all the bucks were pretty much done. Turns out I made a mistake on one of them. Uh, and I don't yeah. know. Have you published anything about that? I can't even remember. Uh, I can't keep up with. I don't think so. No, no, so that hasn't been put out yet. So I messed up one of the, the eight bucks. So we secret. made we made six window bucks and two door bucks, and I I messed up. And you can see them in the picture for this for this live. Um, it's a little it's a little bit from far away. It's up on the hill a little bit. But um, I made one of them the wrong size. It was the front door, and I made it basically the size of the door instead of the size of the rough opening, which has to be has to be a little bigger. 
I did say so, it on my channel. Okay. Now I did fix it. It turns out I in place, it. I took the buck apart basically in place and and rebuilt a couple of pieces and fixed it. So so I think all the bucks are right now. Um, hopefully everybody's gotten a look at the bucks. And if you saw, we put out a video, uh, would have been two days. Did we put it out Monday? Yeah. Two days ago. So. We put out a video two days ago that showed the SketchUp. So I walked through it on SketchUp. So I updated that SketchUp drawing based on what we did out there. So what's in the SketchUp drawing should be pretty darn accurate. So if you follow the SketchUp drawing, then you know what we've done out there. Now our next video will be the actual, you know, showing the, showing the actual build, um, or at least, or at least the results of the build. Um, but if you watch the SketchUp, then you see what we did out there. So if anybody has any questions or comments on kind of how I built those bucks, let me know. But I think it's pretty decent. They're they're standing. He tried um, to do a test and it turned, he failed. This is Bales. You've, you've switched gears now. So. Oh, well, <laughs> well, it was a funny, I got some really funny footage. Of we will show some funny footage funny, eventually. Funny footage. I don't know. I don't know when will be the right time to actually put that well, in, but we'll show it. He, it took him forever <clears> to get <throat> this SketchUp thing out. So he got behind on that because he's trying to do the building and then the video at the same time. So I have like two videos waiting to go out. You really only had one and it's now, oh. it'll be our next video. Oh, okay. The other one was just one piece of footage. It's okay. not a video. really. Anyway, I mean. anyway, after you get that out, then the next one should be the one where you did the. Yeah. So, the, well, let's see, you the, know, the trick, if you've got any questions on the bucks, let me know. But, but yeah, so once we got beyond the bucks, we did do, um, we filled in, and we've said we were going to do this all along. We filled in the sill plate with uh, gravel, so we did that. Turns out I ended up doing that sort of twice, and you'll see why. But um, so that slowed me down a little bit, and I then eventually a, I didn't understand why you really why you did that. I wasn't happy with the, the bigger gravel, the bigger oh, rocks. Right. I okay. wanted to fill in some of the gaps with with the smaller. Craig um, said it didn't matter. <laughs> eh, we'll see. Where's Craig? Um, well. I don't know. Uh, they've also told us to remind them when we're live. But oh. anyway, uh, so eventually when I got past all this stuff, I got to the bales. And I've said a few times that the first thing I would do with the bales is a test, right? To stack them up four high, which is how high they're going to be, and and squeeze them. You know, put a, a box beam on top, at least a piece of a box beam, like I'm going to build for the whole thing, um, just smaller, to fit over one bale and stack up four bales and squeeze them with the with the strapping that we're going to use. So I don't know why. I mean, looking back, this is so dumb, but I totally just, I think I've been so focused on other things that I just thought, oh, once I get past this or that or the other thing, it's time to stack bales and it's just going to be easy, right? And I was looking sort of toward the end of the bale step, which is, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, you know, when the bales are all done and you put the box beam on top and you squeeze it down with all the strapping material and stuff and those straps are going to be every couple of feet, it's going to pull together pretty tight and things are going to hold pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I think for whatever reason in my mind, I didn't think about the in-between while you're stacking the bales. They're not stable at all, right? I mean, you can't just stack them on top of each other like they're blocked. I mean, they'll fall over. They're not, they're not real straight, so they want to wobble and fall over by themselves. Or if a gust of wind hits them, of course they're going to fall over. So, I mean, I didn't think about any of that. I don't know why I completely spaced it. I know it's stupid, but that's what happened. So anyway, I went out to do this test and I literally just tried to stack four bales on top of each other straight up. And I did get three and I actually put the fourth one on top Are of it. You're going to tell them about it? Well, you're going to tell them what yeah. happened? Well, it's not as funny until you see it, but it, it collapsed on my head. I kept it's hilarious to watch though. Because I kept telling but, him, that's not going to work. That's, well, I said, it's not, that doesn't look stable. I had to try it. But, uh, and but yeah, looking back, it was head. incredibly stupid. There was no way that was going to work. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. And the good news is it, it refreshed my memory of all the other things that I have to do. You have to kind of pin those bales as you go. And it also reminded me that I have to make a connection between the, the bales and the bucks where they meet, where the wood meets the, the bales. You know, again, I, in my mind, I had decided that I didn't need to make any connection there. Sorry, I'm Cynthia made. I'll get to Cynthia's 
comment in a second, but I had decided again, because of the, the final step of putting the box beam on and kind of cinching it all together, I thought, well, that's going to hold everything pretty tight. Nothing's going to want to go anywhere. So I had, I used that logic to say, there's no reason to tie this stuff together. And that's stupid. That's wrong. But that's what I was thinking. Plus the bales but are this, not stacked for high. Well, yeah, really. But for compression, I think that still would have been a valid test for compression. Okay. But it didn't, of course, they weren't going to stand up. So but, uh, but anyway, so that's, so yeah, so I did a test. It didn't work, but it reminded me of all the other things I have to do. So that's what I spent yesterday and today. It's kind of thinking through those things that I kind of missed and all the little parts and pieces that have to occur. So I've made kind of a shopping list that I'm going to go get tomorrow and we're going to, so I had kind of a false start with the bales, I'll say, but we're going to get back into it. So Cynthia says, I'm trying to learn straw bale build. You're my first podcast. Watching how this goes. Terms, I don't know, like the bucks. Well, hey, Milan and Dad. Hey, Milan and Dad. Um, Cynthia, feel free to ask. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff is in some of our videos if you watch them in the past, but feel free to ask. We'll answer as much as we can. Where We're not is experts. Where Cynthia from? Where are you at, Cynthia? If you don't mind answering. And ask you anything mind. you like. The Bucks are the, that's the name for the the wood structure around the windows and doors. It's called a buck. The buck stops here. That, so, that should be one of your video names. Ask anything you like. Oh, I was just in Florida. Oh. Yeah, I was just yeah. in Pensacola. My cousin Sherry says, there. how's the weather down there? It's, oh, a, hey. it's a lot cooler. Hi, Sherry. Um, and Scott. We got a it sprinkle. Was nice. Two or three days ago, we got a sprinkle, but not much more than a sprinkle. Of it's rain. been nice here. Well, um, it's been cooler. Cooler. It's been cooler, definitely. Um, still, still warm, but not nearly. I mean, we've been in the nineties instead of the hundreds. So, do you, do you look at that green? Dog? The nineties are much more manageable. I do not, but that's that that's would be that camera. would make your eyes look right. I understand, oh. but Is she, wow, she's from Pensacola. Do you know Cynthia? I don't. Pam <laughs> was just in Pensacola. My cousin uh, lives about forty-five minutes. My cousins live. In Atmore, Alabama. So Sherry said it cooled down up there That's too. That's where I went. Sherry's in the Phoenix area, by the way. For those that don't know, uh, I assume you guys are still over a hundred, but you cooled off a little. Ninety-seven. That's not bad. We're actually we're in the eighties now. Uh, later in the day, I think we were in the nineties today. Ninety-three but, for a high today. But yeah, we've we've cooled down. Wanting to move back to Arizona. Oh. Ah, so you're from Arizona originally. We used to live in Chandler, but now we're in St. David. So I think that, I mean, uh, like I said, I did a, I did a SketchUp video covering the, actually more than just the bucks, covering kind of the whole, the whole design from floor to top of walls. Now there's more to go for the roof structure after that, but I went from floor to top of walls in our last video. So sill plate, but window and door bucks, bales and box beam which goes on top of that and kind of sandwiches it all down so hopefully everybody got a chance to see that if you didn't please go back and watch it uh but in the next video you'll see some of that kind of happen in real life outside um i'll warn you unfortunately especially with pam gone when i did the bucks with pam gone um because i was alone Hi, i didn't tom. really get a chance hey tom I didn't really get a chance to film much and I can't remember if I worked it into the video that we've, we have a video like this close to oh, ready to yeah. go out. We'll probably put it out maybe Friday. I think that'll be on the bucks. All you're going to see, unfortunately for the window bucks is like beforehand I'll film and I'll say what I'm going to do. And then kind of, I film them after they're done and I kind of talk about what I did, but I couldn't set up a camera and just let it play because, because it was so heat. hot. Yeah. The, you know, we film with our phones, but not that it would have mattered whether it was a phone or not. It would have overheated so fast. I really couldn't get real time yeah, stuff. Yeah, it, it was really hot. So if Pam were here, um, she can do little pieces at a time without it getting too bad. But for me to set it on a tripod just wasn't going to work. And I so. wasn't here to So help, it's more so. of a before and after almost this next video coming up. So um, so you live in Mesa. Oh, That's wow. where my kids live in Mesa. We were in Chandler. We've spent time in Apache Junction and things. So. Did I see earlier in the chat you fixed the yes. pipe? Well, oh. Not well, like for good. It's kind of like pieced back together. Yeah. So we have a, a, a plan. Like he's going to go down every night and turn the water off because that's when it happens is at night. This is not a great solution. But when this happened to us today 
And again, so yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, for, our water pipe broke again, who don't in case know, you didn't know. Our water, pipe. our water pipe broke apart again. Um, it breaks at a connection point, right? So it's you really just have to put it together. So uh, all I did today was just slap it back together and tighten the clamps back up, and it was fine in a couple of minutes, right? It was really easy to put back together. But, but the water's all muddy. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of water has spewed out of it, so the pump in the well has been kind of pulling. And what happens every time that happens, I've said this before, is our water gets real dirty after that. So something happens in the well. No, it wasn't really a permanent fix that I did. No, and it affects our neighbors. So as yeah, well. everybody's water gets dirty because what the pump is doing two. down in the well because of that. Or we only have two people. Two, two on people this, sharing so. on the well. So what we've decided is to save ourselves from that problem and to save our neighbors from that problem, even though it's a big hassle, we are 95% sure that this pipe is breaking apart because of, you know, temperature changes and expansion and contraction of the plastics. Um, so at least other than storms, which are a whole different story, but what's been happening these last couple of times it has popped apart has just been from the temperature change. It's always happened at night in the middle of the night. And it's because it cools <laughs> off at night and things, you know, the, 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 the two plastics change size and uh, that's what pops it apart. So it always happens at night. So what we've decided is oh, it's, it's we're really going to shut the water down at night. Hey, Bill. Hey, hey Bill. It is not a great solution. Um, now, Bill did make a suggestion, but I, I had another suggestion actually from an old neighbor today. Um, Bill had a suggestion, I believe, of a tape, and I forget the name of the tape. I was going to go back. Butyl? No, it's not butyl tape. But uh, there is a tape that you can wrap around this stuff that's supposed to kind of harden. Um, I'm sure Bill will remember and he'll probably throw it out here. Um, my <laughs> my old neighbor just today, he, he just called me today to talk about some of the other stuff, some of the window buck stuff. Um, he suggested... <clears throat> He said, stretch and seal tape. He suggested, that stretch and seal. That's not the same stuff you use on the windows. No, that's more butyl. But um, anyway, he suggested uh, muffler clamps on either side of the of the fitting, basically. Now, I don't know. I'll have to ask him again. I'm not sure how that's different than kind of the pipe clamps that we have on there. But Desert but, uh, Living Homestead. Hello. Hey there. I'm um, Desert Living Homestead. I forgot the name of the, the tape, Bill. Um, and like I said, at the beginning, I'm about to go do some shopping tomorrow for the next couple of steps. So uh, it can seal water under pressure. That's another one. I, I've been telling people, you know, I don't, oh, I don't want to spend, <laughs> I don't want to spend a lot sorry, of time Pete. or money or effort on this thing. I'm willing to just kind of limp along until we get the the water tanks kind of doing what they need to do, but. I would be willing to do something that's fairly simple and cheap, which the stretch and seal would be. Um, the muffler clamps I have to think about. I, um, there was another suggestion from David. He's the one in Korea. What did David. he suggest? He suggested using a bike tube. Oh, I guess it would be similar to like the stretch and seal idea. I, apparently he said, I didn't see this comment, but apparently, was it made on one of your videos? Yeah. Oh, okay. So apparently what he suggested, I assume, is cutting a piece of bike rubber, bike tire rubber, yeah, um, inner tube it. rubber, and wrapping it around. Now, I don't know whether you add, need to add any kind of adhesive or anything, but it would be similar oh, to that stretch Pedro. and seal tape, I I'm guess. I'm sorry, Pedro. I am totally... I thought that was Pedro, too, but that's. I think that might be a different picture on his little avatar or whatever. But. Oh, okay. So I, uh, Con or Tom says, I just thought, what if you... Oh, epoxy. Epoxy the fitting... Maybe. I mean, people have suggested glue. I don't know that I wanted to use glue, and I know it's not really supposed to be necessary on these types of fittings. You know, they're barbed plastic fittings. Um, I don't know. Well, anyway, he, we were kind of going back and forth. Should we put the bill, the, the build on hold? I don't want to put the build talk. on hold. I don't want him to put the build on hold either. To kind of think about the water more, but. So we decided we're just going to, he's going to turn the water off at night. And because that's when it happens every time this ha happened at night. So not glue epoxy, right? Yeah. I should glue epoxy is not glue. I understand. Um, yeah, Bill, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to Sierra Vista tomorrow for some, for some, you know, uh, material for the build. Um, I think I'm going to put that tape on my list because that's a, that's a fairly quick and easy fix. Um, now, uh, would you recommend, this is a question for Bill, 
would you recommend that I put that tape on before? And I think you've seen kind of how this stuff is attached, right? So, so I'm putting, I'm using a fitting, a plastic fitting between two pieces of uh, the ranch pipe. So the ranch pipe pushes, pushes onto the plastic fittings. And then I put hose clamps around two metal hose clamps on each side. And I kind of crank down those hose clamps. Um, would you put the tape before the hose clamps or would you just put the tape over the whole, the whole thing and just stretch it past both sides of that? That's really the question I would have. Would you do it after or would you do it before you put the clamps on? I'm guessing you're thinking at, Oh, you're thinking you're saying first. Okay. All right. That's worth a shot. Yeah, it is. That's, and I assume that stuff isn't super expensive or anything. I'm going to add if that to my list. That, if you did that, would we try to leave it? That should allow not... us to leave it on at night, I think. I, I think that will work. that's going to be a real hassle yes. to but go. Believe me, that is not an ideal solution. I and don't like it, turning the water off every night and turning it back on in the morning because it only happens at night. That, Six or seven that also means that I won't have uh, I'm gonna try that water. Bit. Yeah, in, that would mean that Pam would have to use a, a jug, basically, to flush <laughs> the toilet. Um, all right. I'm going to try that bill. I, I had remembered that you said that I was going to go back to the, to the chat in that old live video and I didn't get a chance to do that today, but I knew you had made a suggestion that I thought should work. Um, so I'm willing to try that. Let's okay. Hope. So I'm going to add that to my list. Remember stretch and seal tape add to my list. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> okay. So that's that. That happened last night again, our water, but, but now it didn't happen for long because I had actually gotten, which I rarely do. I got up to go to the bathroom last night and there was water. And then about an hour later, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, Bill. Uh, Savannah. That's like me. At, uh, that's like me with the, uh, with the uh, zip codes from UPS that I can't forget. <laughs> uh, it just, it just comes out, right? You've, you've, you've said it so many times. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's that happened last night, but uh, I don't know if anybody missed anything at the beginning. And, and but you know, we we had I think pretty good success with the window bucks, but I I had a false start with the with the bales. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole spiel again unless anybody asks. But yeah, I I I wasn't prepared to start stacking bales, so I'm getting prepared now, and I'm going to do a better job. I had we had learned some of this stuff before. Some of it's a little different what we're doing, and we had watched. Bill's videos in the past, but it's been a little while. And I, I, for whatever reason, my mind just got focused on one thing and lost some of another. And I just, I just made a couple of mistakes in my thought process for the bales. So I just totally botched that. So I'm going to kind of reset and start again. So I feel better about it now, but. Um, you were talking about maybe uh, Friday, you'd be ready to, to do the bales, but. I think, oh, you're saying but the weather? It's supposed yeah. to rain. On so Friday, that's another but, thing. But it just said 40% chance. In general, I have accepted the fact, and I, I always knew this was a likelihood. I was I was crossing my fingers that we'd be able to beat rain. It's not going to happen. We're going to get rained on. So I've accepted the fact that we're going to get rained on. What I have to do is I have to be prepared to cover the bale. So I did. Billboard tarps. I can't remember if I said this. I wouldn't have said this on the last live because I hadn't gone and picked you up yet. The day I picked Pam up from Tucson, I met a guy in Tucson who sells uh, tarps from billboards. I don't know if everybody knows this, but a lot of billboards are made from tarps. It's not like painted on wood. It's it's a tarp that's stretched across the billboard. So yeah, there's a guy really that too. there's a guy that sells these things after the fact. They're pretty thick. They're pretty sturdy. <laughs> they're big. So um, I bought a couple of those. Uh, now it's just a matter of the geometry of how to fit them on the on the on the bales when they're in place on the walls, and how much I can cover with one tarp, or how I have to kind of work them and attach them to the ground or to the bales or whatever. So there's some to figure out there, but but I have accepted the fact that we're going to get rained on. It'll be okay. We'll keep the bales pretty dry with tarps. If they get a little wet, it won't be the end of the world. It'll be all right. Um, uh, no, we did not. I did not get gutters up yet. We now, would like to, but <clears throat> unfortunately, this uh, building yeah. that takes... So we do have, out of our priority. two water tanks, we do have one of them full. We filled one with our well water, which we, we had planned on doing all along. So we do have one full tank, uh, but 
that water isn't really usable to me until I set up the pump and, and pressure system. So, so that's what I'm missing. Um, not that I'm saying, I mean, I don't want to miss all the monsoon rain. Don't get me wrong. I do want to get out there and put that gutter up, but, uh, it's not, I don't think I'm going to, in the list of things to do, I'm not going to put it in front of the house. I don't think so. If there comes a point where I'm waiting on materials else. for the house, if it happens, maybe the metal or whatever, I'm going to try and plan those things as best I can, the metal for the roof. But uh, if there comes a point where I'm waiting, I might take on a, another job like that at the same time. But for now, I'm probably going to fin try do my best to kind of get the house to the Go. roof <laughs> before I before I take those other jobs on. Um, so, yeah, I realize I was optimistic. Oh, there uh, he about, is. Hey, Craig. I realize <laughs> I, I was, was optimistic, just... maybe naive about how much I could accomplish, but MLP. I was being what's in MLP? Midlife crisis. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Hello. So, anyway. <laughs> I'm awake. Um, I'm very excited to see the wheels are in motion. But when he gets stalled, it's it's very um, basically what, frustrating. And I mean, okay. I can live with this. It's just it's hard for Pam to watch. I hear Jim in your voice about the rain guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Jim's. I can understand what's frustrating for Pam, although my, my mind is churning the whole time. What happens when I build is I think and think and think and think, and it looks like nothing's happening, but I'm thinking, you know, I'm making progress in my mind. Um, but then when I actually do jump in, so the sill plate's a good example. It didn't take us very long to actually do the sill plate once we got out there but and did it. it the bucks, so the bucks happen in like two days. Yeah. Ow, so, um, so that's kind of what happens for me. I think about a thing for a while. And then once I jump out there to do it, at least hopefully, it goes pretty quick and pretty well because I've thought about it so much. So, um, you can go live in his mind. So, <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that these next couple of tasks, like the bales and the box beam, because I've put thought in them, and again, I, was, I spaced on the bales for a little while. I'm not sure why. I have no excuse. But uh, because I've now thought those through pretty well, I'm hoping that I can once I jump into them, I can knock them out hopefully I think, pretty quickly. I think it's because you were uh, focused so much on hey, the bucks. Hey, Rob. That's Rob. Hey, Rob. Oh, nice. What's that now? You were focused on the bucks for so long that you lost sight of the bales. Yeah, I, 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 that is what happened with the bales. I mean, it's not an excuse. It, it shouldn't happen. But because I was so focused on the sill plate and the bales, I just, after so much time spinning, I'm sorry, the sill plate and the bucks, after kind of spinning on that for so long in my mind, I think eventually I just treated the the, the bales as this, oh, well, well, after this stuff is done, the bales are just a no-brainer. You just stack them up. And I don't know why I did that, but I left out a whole bunch of things that are needed to make the bales happen. So <laughs> Greg says the 90% solution. What the heck does that mean? The first 90% takes, what, 10% of the time? And the last 10% takes 90% of the time or something? Um I don't understand. There's, a, there's an adage in like software or whatever. That, oh, that, you know. that's why I don't understand. <laughs> for me, it's almost the other way around. It it takes it takes 90% of the time for me to even get started. And then to do the whole job takes the rest of the 10% of the time. I'm kind of backwards. I it's think. prep. A but lot of prep. Anyway. And then 10%. I, I think we're in a pretty good position right now. Again, we're, we're going to get rained on. There's really no way around it. So I've accepted it. And once I accepted it, it was a little bit of a relief, actually. But, uh, I mean, obviously, I still have to be prepared to, to, to uh, protect those bales. But once I accepted that I was going to get rained on, I, I actually, it was like a sigh of relief. It was like, okay, everything's going to be all right. I'm going to get through this. I'm not going to stop. So I feel okay about it now. It, I'm more focusing on just making sure I do it right, and I'm not worried about beating the weather. I so, think he's very worried about getting the tarp over, but I, am. I mean, we're going to get it up there. We'll just get some ladders and put it up there. Well, the, the, my concern isn't getting it over. My, I think, I think Pam's only worried about the physical getting the tarp to be over the bales. I think what she's missing is once the tarp's over the bales, it has to stay there while it rains and while the wind blows. <laughs> and that Bricks. is not simple. That's why you're that broken. That is not simple. <laughs> Broken? Is that what this is? Uh, bricks. There's rain out here in Texas. Pedro's in Texas? Yeah, he said he, it said he was in Texas, I believe. That's what no grommets. 
So, mom. No, there's a pie. There, that there goes are not in grommets. The yeah, these, these, you there's know, a what do you? Call that? There's like a sleeve on a the sleeve. edge of these on the edge of these tarps. They do not have just the the grommets. They have like a a sleeve on the edge that they run it's a, a. It's like a pocket, and you put the yes, pipe in. A pocket. Sorry, well, we're I, probably not going to use a pipe. We're probably going to use rope. I'm going um, to get some. That. I'm going to get some comments for that. This is a, you. You just did. Your mom. <laughs> I think your mom's the um, first one that, that thought of it. <laughs> so I think that's. I think that's everything I needed to kind of get out there. Um, get but out there. I'll say a, I'll say a, it's kind of a a thank you in advance uh, to Bill. Uh, we, we revisited some of your videos recently. Like I said, we had watched them in the past, but I had just flaked on a lot of the information. So we went back. I'm going to be incorporating um, uh, vampire steaks and, <laughs> and rebar pinning and stuff. And I just, I don't know why I just kind of, I just spaced all of that stuff for some reason. Well, it had, but, been, a, uh, it had I, been a while. I gave it some thought today and I put together a, a shopping list that I think is going to get us back on track. So, so thanks Bill. And uh, Bill also, I haven't used it yet, but Bill is letting me borrow his uh, bailing needle. So I appreciate that too. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pedro says I'm at three Springs ranch for the week, hunting, fishing with the family. This place is for sale. So I'm checking it out. He huh. said he was looking at uh, land in Texas. Oh, I didn't know that. It, I don't remember it that. said it. Oh, I missed it. I'm sorry. I missed it. I was talking. <laughs> sorry. I don't... I'm going to have some water. So what else? What else happened on your trip? That, that, so feel free to throw any questions out there. Uh, but uh, I, I think I've covered all the kind of the technical stuff for the week. I like but Delta. What, what happened, uh, what I like happened on flying, your trip? I like flying Delta because your I had was never... A good experience? Yeah. That's rare. <laughs> that was rare. And and uh, I was able to watch movies so that it just went by really fast. I have I don't think I've ever no, I probably have watched a movie on an airplane before, but it did go by really fast and it it was good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And pays attention. Oh <laughs> that's that's funny you say that. That is ironic. Him doesn't pay attention. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I have the shortest attention span of anyone I know. Right? Am I right? Yes. What? Were you about to say something? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very easily um, dis distracted at times. You know, I don't, uh, I think that's about all I have, but. Uh, I don't fly ever. We're not big fans like of flying. It. Every time I fly, it's, my ears get it's expensive. All messed up. Um, it's not very it's comfortable. Expensive. It's not very. I do you know, have a good so. memory uh, uh, for useless information, but not all useless. I mean, like I can remember names usually pretty well. I think because I had we hadn't done a live in a while, and Desert Living Homestead threw me off because I couldn't see the picture. Pedro. Uh, and and then when it had it had been a while, so I don't know. My mind is going blank. Mm -hmm. During that's, the headlights. That's it about your trip. Uh, what? Well, well, I went to the beach and and that was that was pretty much it. I went. Oh, we geez, hung out at the beach crying. all the time. Are the bales Are going the bales? up tomorrow? Oh my gosh! So we talked. So I'm going shopping he tomorrow. Missed it. Oh, he's uh, going shopping. Uh, uh, Craig, it, it at least when I saw you say hello, it looked like you showed up a little late. I had covered some of it. I, I just, I, I, I was. We I blew false, it. I fall started on the bales. Um, I've regrouped. I put together a, a shopping list today. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow in Sierra Vista, and uh, so probably well. If the weather wasn't a factor, I think it would be Friday, but it looks like the weather could play a factor. So we'll have to kind of, we'll see how that goes so far. But I can't believe tomorrow is July. Yeah. It's time is going by just too fast. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Is very enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, Pam Thanks. took a little break there, but she's gotten back into. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Thumbs up, y'all. Um, yeah, I had kind of 
gotten off track, I think. And well, it's hard. You know, we were trying to transition Pam, and we're still working on it. Oh, and that's kind of what happened. Doing more on our channel, but then, you know, we we made a little. We got we got it going that way a little bit when we did the sill plate because I was working on it. I was working on it with a friend, and Pam was able to come out and do some filming, and then we worked together on putting the video together. She did most of it, and then I looked at it a little bit, and we tweaked a couple of things. We did a couple of videos that way, and it worked all right. And then she went on her trip, so I was left alone, and I got the footage for the, the one set of stuff, and, and I had a couple of videos, <laughs> like the SketchUp thing that was kind of all me. It's not so, happening tomorrow, Craig. So, no best Maybe, of Maybe, wait, Friday. But that's Friday. when it's supposed to possibly But then he'll rain. call me Friday and go, did you do the bales Did today? the neighbor end up blocking the view with the poles? The neighbor? Oh, so Rob was out here. Uh, the neighbor. About a, I don't know, it's been a week now maybe or something, close to. Um, oh, my gosh. So that's it another thing that's me. happened recently. That's oh, you didn't even Rob. know who that was. You said Rob. And sorry, I'm Rob. Like, I knew it was you. I, oh. Um, I'm sorry, Rob. Hello, Rob. I guess we haven't mentioned this. We can talk about this. It's not Rob a huge deal, to but, visit us. but uh, yeah. So our neighbor who has bought some land beside, uh, uh, alongside us has wanted to run power to his land. And essentially in, in that sense, in terms of how that would have to run, he's behind us. So the power has to kind of run by us. So they have run power up our street. But the it poles isn't much do of a not street. block anything. And they did put a couple of poles, but they don't really block much. There's yeah, only a couple we, of poles, and there's like two them. wires on them, so it's really not very bad. I don't notice so them at all. It freaked the us out a little bit day, when trucks came up with poles on them. We didn't really expect that. but Oh, and they kind of tore up the wash, with, which made it kind of... It's been very active here recently. But the last couple of days have been more quiet. Since they, they got done. I so. think they're done. So, yeah, it's kind of um, calmed down. So, Cynthia says... I, I watched watch. during the tires and no more notifications so that I could watch. So, now look forward to keeping up as long as, long as I can see y'all are on. Excited to watch your build come along. Thanks, Thank Cynthia. You. Um, glad to hear because that's a fantastic view. Yeah, so Rob just visited us. He's He has land. Uh, he is about an hour away from us, I guess. Yeah. But he was out here to talk septic on his land. So he came and visited us while he was here. Uh, so we talked for a couple hours. That was a nice visit. So I, he's see, I, to see didn't, the place. I didn't realize that he was. I didn't know you didn't know. That's who he you was. You didn't know. I didn't know that you knew. <laughs> it is. We do have We have two really nice views. In two directions, we have really nice views. The other two are, meh. Not I like this view, too. Because uh, that, that's where I. I like to hike up that mountain. Our north and east view are really nice. Oh, oh I may have to. I have to switch <laughs> out my ice pack because I'm. You see that one? Oh, it. Hey, Brian Stern. What? Hey, Brian. Hi, Paul. What he said. Brian was gonna start. Here. Oh what? my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thanks for coming. So back, maybe man. Brian was gonna start. So. <laughs> oh, we forgot about that. So, uh, Paul, I'll get. Well, let me answer Paul's first. So Paul said, "Yeah." So I have a, I have a story to tell, not about Pam Strip, but. My me while Pam was gone, um, so uh, so Paul, we we have not caught water, but we have filled one of them with our well water. So, and and actually, even if we had gutters, we just got a sprinkle the other day. We haven't had any measurable rain still yet, and we don't know how soon it'll come. So, uh, not that I shouldn't have gutters out there, but uh, we're not missing anything, and we did fill one of the tanks with our well water. Um, and mom asked, can you see fireworks? We will probably see some fireworks on the 4th from here. We um, Last year we were at somebody else's house and we were able by. to see four different yeah, fireworks. We could see Tucson. We could see Sierra Vista. We, we saw a couple Saint of different David places. St. David and Benson. Maybe Benson. Um, so while Pam was gone, I don't think I talked about this because I don't even remember what night this was. No, it was I the night was, after. I think it was after the live that yeah. I did by myself when Pam was gone. So um, I only cooked dinner now i while pam was gone i did the same breakfast and lunch that i do every day when she's here breakfast is cereal and lunch is a sandwich and i do that myself but pam makes all I my don't dinners know how I eat that um, every single so day. i ate the same breakfast and lunch while she was gone so that was nothing but dinner was a little different so i did go get you know a little caesar's pizza, pizza and, and and if i made a trip to sierra vista which i did chipotle. i would eat maybe a chipotle in sierra vista so Burger i did that um, craig and i ate at wendy's when craig came out to help me so I only cooked for myself two times while Pam was gone. 
And one of them was a burger, although it's a veggie burger, but it's a burger, <laughs> which I've made before and I, I can handle that. Um, but the other, <laughs> there was another night I just got a craving. She makes me spaghetti at least once a week, if not a couple of times a week. And it's kind of my favorite thing. It's one of my favorite things. So um, while she was gone, I said, I said, boy, I want, it must've been like Friday after the live. Mm -hmm. And uh, the day after the live, oh no, Thursday. the live is on Wednesday. It was probably Thursday. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I said, <laughs> uh, I, I texted her or something. I said, I want spaghetti. Tell me how to make spaghetti or whatever. So even though I so kind of knew. But, me. but uh, so I made the spaghetti. So what she tells me is. I don't measure anything. Um, yeah. So you do the noodles, right? You get the noodles and the strainer thing. And then you put the sauce into the pan. It's just a can of sauce, but she spices it all up, right? With garlic powder and different things, Italian right? Italian. So she spices. tells me the things that she puts in the sauce, but she never measures. So she can't tell me how much. So. And I did make a mistake, but it was once I realized it was too late. So she says, put this and this and this and this in the pan and then put the sauce in and mix it up. So I just shook a couple of things in the pan, right? I forgot to tell you something that's very important <laughs> when you stir the sauce. Taste, Taste it. it. <laughs> so that's what I didn't do. To see if it needs so I just shook sauces. a little bit of whatever, these couple of things that she told me to shake in there. Sketty sauce. And, <laughs> and I, I poured in the sauce. I mixed it all up. I put the noodles in. I mixed it all together. And I was so excited about my spaghetti that I made for myself. And I took a bite and it was terrible. <laughs> And then I didn't even realize that at that point, it wasn't until like the next day I was all, why didn't I just taste the sauce before I put the noodles into it? Yeah. So I was wondering it was so too. bad. It was almost inedible. Now I ate the whole thing, but I was not happy about it. I also didn't make the right amount of noodles. She told me to cover, you know, to pour the noodles in a bowl when they were hard and cover the bottom and covering the bottom should be enough because they swell up and then whatever. Right. Well, I covered the bottom of that bowl, but when I poured them into the thing, there weren't enough noodles. So not only was the sauce horrible, but there was like a ton of it compared to the noodles. It was so, so bad. I think he, it was he so appreciated bad. me a little bit more when I came back. Oh, it was terrible. Maybe. Um, I think Brian Stern saying that I should make a, a spaghetti sauce for And then. It, you know what? All it is is great value tomato sauce. It's just sauce a can of with, tomato sauce. She just spices it up. That's cheap. all. It's like the cheapest meal ever. So then not only. So she comes back. And a day after two, a day or two after she gets back, I say, I want sp spaghetti because my last spaghetti was terrible, right? Well, we had gone to the store fries. because we, we were out of fries. sauce and we got a spaghetti sauce. We, we got a different brand. brand. A different brand. So she made spaghetti and it, it wasn't as bad as mine was, but the sauce still wasn't great because it was a different sauce. It, for some reason. So I still haven't gotten really a good spaghetti. He likes the great value tomato sauce. And well, it's the, it's the spices, burger. I think, but. Well, but yeah, I the Kroger put, one was bad. I made it exactly like I always do. Yeah. I don't know. Go on fishing. Have a good one. Have fun, Pedro. <laughs> so yeah. Bye, I, Pedro. I, so I made a terrible plate or bowl of spaghetti while Pam was gone. Uh, but I ate it, but it was horrible. He, I think he was happy to have me back. But then after I started nagging him, he I think well, he was ready for me to leave well, again. <laughs> I was glad I was glad she was gone because I could think about some things at my own pace. I'm I was glad, glad she was gone because it was very hot. And, and if she died. had been in this trailer with as hot as it was, boy, she would have been miserable and that would have made me miserable. So it we was the best week for her miserable. to be gone. That worked out nicely. Um, I, if I had been here, though, we probably just would have went to Craig and Nikki. We or might have left. For Jared. We might have left. For Jared. Jared, where are you? It's okay. So anyway, yeah. He's I, I am not good at cooking. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's what she Melissa... She could have made some things before she left. She chose not Melissa to. Melissa said to do that too. And I said, I'm not making any meals for him. I want him to I want him to see yeah, what Yeah, our friend like. kept saying, are you going to make Brian like a lasagna you when, gonna make for it... when you're gone or whatever? She's all, no, I'm not making him anything. I want him to see. Like but I said, I, I only had like. I only had to make two dinners, but yeah. uh, the burger one was fine because it's hard to screw up that burger. You just toss it in a pan and warm it up, basically. But uh, the spaghetti was bad, really bad. I eat those burgers a lot too. And right now um, we're trying not to. I'm trying to like make if I have to cook anything, I cook it in the morning. So we because if you light that fire over there, it's very hot. Here. Yeah. Even though it has cooled off outside, I mean it's it's still pretty warm. 
and uh, we're still having a tough time kind of keeping up. But I mean, it's better than it was that week she was gone for sure. That was a week, you know, almost a full week of like 105 to 108 or something was pretty rough. Um, <laughs> so, um, yes, my oh, oh, do you know how long it takes to? I, I would have to light a fire and I have to like stoke the fire and stand there and poke it and stoke, poke it and stoke it. She talked for so long about having a pizza oven. Now she has one. She doesn't want to use it at all. I'm going to use it in the winter time. She's not going to use it. <laughs> I I should go to uh, Texas for the summer and visit my family. Because Texas is beautiful in August. <laughs> Yikes. Well. Go ahead. My, my, my sister has a pool. Looks like you guys are gonna have a really? great, have great weather. Is he minutes. joking? It's supposed to be cooler for sure, but I think well, it, the oh, rain is the rain is tough to predict. I think we have a chance of rain now for a long time, but we might not cooler. get much. But it definitely is cooler. That, that that is true. So the two days he was talking about doing the bales is the only days that had that uh, lightning bolt on. Them. Really, what, here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna we happen over know. the next few months, we and this is how monsoon going. goes. What's gonna happen is. The days are probably going to be mostly fine. It's it's the nighttime. So again, as long as I get a good system yes. of of uh, of covering the bales, you're right, Craig. Then the building weather should be actually pretty nice. Yeah, um, it'll be fine. I just have to be able to cover them up when I go to bed because it probably will rain overnight several times. I mean, this whole so. week it it rained. We got how one, many times? one sprinkle. No, no, that was on Sunday. This whole week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It hasn't done anything. Oh, wait. That's three days. Nothing. There's clouds, but it hasn't done anything. So but, but the problem is you can't, but the, but the, you can't assume that that's going to happen. It could rain any night. So you have yes. to be prepared for it. I, I agree that it might not rain very much, but that doesn't mean we can't Usually be prepared. Morning, we have to be prepared though, for it. If we, get, we have been getting up at like 4.30 in the morning. So if we get up early, we'll get out there and we're going to... Get it. As, as long done. as I feel fairly Either comfortable done. about covering the bales, then I, this, like I said, once I just accepted the fact that I wasn't going to beat the weather. Um, oh. <laughs> Ole. <laughs> Thank you. For, it was nice. Um, so, oh my gosh, we both had the big chimichanga, and it was. So, I didn't even eat all mine. I ate like half of it. It was so good. But then he wanted to go to Walmart and like three other stores. Well, and my stomach was so full. Yeah. I wanted him to put me in the cart. We were in town and, and I had things me. I needed to get in town and Pam didn't want to do anything. I felt like dinner, I was so. going to hurl because I don't normally eat that much. And I had on a, I had on sandal or flip flops. So I wear my tennis shoes. She had on her, go her best clothes. <laughs> that on. I had on a baggy dress. I think it would have been better if I had something to hold my stomach in. But when you're just walking around in a baggy dress with your your giant full belly. Have you ever bad. used a router on your projects? I bought a router, but I've never used one. I have not. I've never owned one. I've never used one. I thought you told um, him that the other day. When I think so. I've always wanted one. There have been a few times I wish I'd had one, but you find other ways to do some things. I've done some things with the table saw as far as cutting grooves and things that maybe would be better with a router or a, if anybody knows what a dado blade or set I've of blades is. I've used a router um, in my uh, cabinet shop working days. I know Bill, did, Bill did some things with the routers. I was just thinking about because I watched some of his stuff today. He made little little notches for his, for his, uh, for his straps that go up over the, over the bales. Um, Jimmy Changa. <laughs> so he cut out little grooves. You can kind of cheat. Oh, mom's done router and dado blade. Um, you can cheat some of that stuff and do it on my a mom. table saw or something if you want. So my uh, mom used to say Jimmy Changa. That's why I say it tool. like that. I know it's Jimmy Changa. It's Jimmy Changa. How do you say it? However you want to say it. Jimmy Changa. In Spanish, it would be Jimmy Changa. Jimmy Changa. <laughs> Jimmy Changa. Jimmy Chung. Uh, Shirley knows how to do everything. Yeah. Sweet. Shirley knows how to do everything. Oh, you just read that. Uh, Are you, you going, going to, to cover, cover the, the floor, floor of your house during the rain? Well, it'll have the big uh, thing over it. The, what do you call it? Billboard tarp? Well, the tarp may or may not actually kind of cover the whole thing. It probably won't. We'll probably cover the walls, and there might be some, some rain going into the middle. 
Um, I don't think so. Uh, that could get a little messy if we get a big rain. Obviously, our floor is dirt at the moment, and it will be for some time. Um, actually, it will be mm. until after there's a roof on it. So for the foreseeable future, the, the floor will be dirt. I have an idea. Um, we're not planning on covering it. What Why do you we, ask, Bill? What if we put some mulch in there just for while we're working on the working could, on stuff? Could, could. That way, because it, it's going to get muddy. It might. It might. That's a good point. Fill it with mulch. Oh. Wow. Great, Great minds. minds. <laughs> that's actually, you know, I never thought about that, but that's actually a really good idea. I've already said that's this. That's a really good idea. I already idea. said it once. He wasn't and you listening. can actually... I mean, mulch is just by its nature; it's not the cleanest thing in the world. So it wouldn't. <laughs> it uh, you can kind of repurpose mulch, right? So we could we could dump a bunch of mulch in the middle of that just to kind of keep the rain from pooling up inside of there. And then when we're done, we could scoop that mulch out and spread Ooh, it around where? the property. Yeah. So that's a so. Thanks for asking the question, Bill. I hadn't really thought about it, but uh, it could get messy in there. And I think maybe mulch is a is a decent idea for in there. Also, that might actually. So we've got this weird kind of depression. Yep. At least it won't become a mud. Yep. Yeah, good point. Oh, we've got yeah. this depression inside there, and it's going to be interesting when we try and work on the walls. You know, trying to get a ladder up and stuff like that because because everything kind of slopes down off of the tires into the depression in the middle. It's even worse on the outside, but it's it's bad on the inside. It kind of does this on the inside of the house. Um, did you just hear a noise? <laughs> oh, it's very windy. It's probably uh -oh. the wind. Is it right? Okay, rain? it's a little windy. But um. I think it's a good idea to pile a bunch of mulch in there. Yeah. That's actually you, a really good idea. Have you guys put patio chairs in there? Oh, it is windy. see how it feels. I've walked around in we it, have but an, I haven't I, I stand in it a lot, but I haven't sat down in it. We I should do that. I stand in it all the time. And we should. Dream of what it's going to be like. <laughs> we can actually look out the windows, sort of. Yeah. That's um, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we've got some wind right now. It's kicking up. You know I've noticed that every afternoon the wind is kicking it's up. It's pretty common around here. So, Are we going to wrap up now? We can wrap up kind of any time. We're, we're pushing an hour. But uh, I'm glad you asked that question, Bill. I hadn't really thought about it. I figured, well, it's dirt, whatever, no big deal. But it could get pretty messy. And the mulch the mulch would help that. Yes. I think that's, that's a good a idea. That's a great idea. We've continued to get mulch and spread it around the property. Um, and it's, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that would be a good idea in there. <laughs> Glad you have been of service. To have been of service. <laughs> Thank um, you that we have been of service. <laughs> wrap up. Throw some mulch in there now. The, the price, price is, is right. right. Throw some mulch. The in price there. is definitely right. Wrap up. Um, mulch has been one of our greatest finds, and I we have we have Jim to thank for that. I think. Oh yeah, um, Jim's the one that let us in. So that. that's been fantastic out here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we know that all too well, Bill. Yeah, we we all it, have it. My microphone. Pam gets not it real bad. Understand my try, southern accent. Try trying to talk to your phone with an accent. Uh, that's uh, I don't think Pam ever gets anything out right the first time. Every time I say I, it thinks I'm saying R A R E, and I always have to go back and fix it. So I think that's about it. If anybody's got any questions, feel free to ask. Um, yeah, Joel, I'm sure that's right. Um, <laughs> so thanks to the, a couple of newcomers. Um, Cynthia, yes, I hope you got you. some out of that and feel free to ask us anything either in any of the videos in the comments in the videos or whatever. We do respond to all that stuff. So if there's anything you want to know, feel free to ask. Uh, we're not experts, but we'll share whatever we know. Um, so thanks everybody for joining. Thank you. For I think joining. we're probably about done for tonight. Yep. Going to wrap it up. You ready? Go see what's uh, blowing around outside. All right. Yeah. We're getting kicked around a little bit. We're going to call it, guys. Thanks, everybody. See you all next Thanks, time. Thanks, Bill. Don't forget the thumbs up. Talk to you all later. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. We're rocking a little bit.